What's up everyone? Welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs. I was just looking at this and I just now realized that above all these maps or schematics, whatever they're supposed to be, there are messages. This one reads, plant fully operational. Can't wait to go back and look and see if they all read differently. Oh! So it looks like I am picking up where I left off as the mystery saboteur. I'm just gonna throw out every lever. Do all the things. Looks like that's everything I can do. What are you doing, little piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? I want my children, you unholy bastard! Can I go through? Yeah, I can. So this is... Wait, maybe I can't. I can. So this is why I just got that note at the end of the last episode about how Ozzy would send orphans to clean the pipes and how through the pipe system you could get access to pretty much anywhere within the machine. Will it hurt them? A cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! It's all pig heads? Yeah. Not too long ago, came to a section where they were just pretty much falling from the sky by the bundle. Oh, what's going on? Flashback time? Oh, shit. Wasn't expecting him to be there. Oh, and he just fucked off. Great. Am I safe reading this note? There's a spoon of medicine, I says. And it's a silver spoon what you did get born holding. Ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the silver spine of your children and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? Is this Ozzy writing to Lilibeth about himself? Yeah, your twins. That must be why the twins pulled their hearts out. Or, I mean, symbolically, anyway. Ozzy apparently ripped still beating parts of his twin- Oh! Twins out. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility, something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. Sounds good. I do recall a passage from that last document I found. That ladder. Wait, it's blocked by steam. If in the throes of my evil I send children into the pipes to clean them, then it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious maelstrom of engines. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils from the fumes of that godless compound axe that fuels these machines, and I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. Yeah, I was gonna say, I do recall getting a note not too long ago. It was actually the, the one I was referencing before from the end of the last episode about how if the kids who were cleaning the pipes took too long, the system would go back online and send boiling steam through the pipes that would just pretty much boil them alive. Now I'm looking for something else I can do to sabotage the system. Oh, this looks like the right thing. Yep. Now, what I'm wondering is, where did that pig that I saw when I was collapsed on the floor go? Anyway, seems like I can probably go back up the ladder now. Now it looks like steam is still pouring out of there. So, wait, 
what is that? Steam vent access, okay. Only at low pressure. Still have to, oh wait, can I turn the lamp? Yeah, I can. What's this over here? This looks important. A lot of notes this time. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mandis, you clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I will be... I am the overman. Okay. Oh! It startled me, actually. Oh, shit! There's one of them. Oh, God, is that another one? Ooh! Ooh! Holy shit, there are a lot of them down here. Oh, my God. That puzzle sequence... They're th they look a lot bigger than the other ones. They look way, way bigger and tougher. They look like brutes. Now quickly, through the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling, corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarl itself about me, its unholy and human mind coil and slick, send its dark tendrils through, the, through its conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets, I will fetch help, and I shall lead the people upon the factory, burn it to the ground, and seal this evil place underground forever. Yeah, it looks like I am kind of on a timer before the steam returns and boils my ass. Oh fuck! Is it already coming? Oh god, I got turned around. Which direction am I going? Do I have a new note? Really? Is this the time, Ozzy, to be writing? All about me, the thunder of machinery, the blast of boiling steam. I cannot pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster, cracked, my circulation stagnated, my vital motions impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I can find a way to shut it off. Yeah! You could- you should probably be doing that instead of st move, spending your time writing about it. I mean, I enjoy the written word as much as anyone else, but... There is a time and a place for everything. This is not it. This is what you dreamt into me. I will stop you. I will save them. You are too late. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my piggies. Kill them all. The note above that schematic said, low pressure pig line open. Or something to that effect. I think there were a couple more words in there. So, wait a minute, kill them all? Them all? Why? Anything to save them. Of course, all the afall... Afall we cannot sell from our systems is donated to the workhouse, making them perhaps the best fattened unfortunates in the whole of London. Oh my god. So they're selling the orphans who were converted into pig people back to, I guess, the butchers of London to sell his meat? God damn, that is grisly. That is really grisly. Where are we? Where are we heading up to? Is this... What is that in the distance? That sound? It sounds like gun... What the f... Ooh. What the fuck is going on? It sounds like there's a war going on. Is the machine is the machine sending the the pig men to war with with London? What was that? God, an army of pig men are stalking the streets and killing everybody. This is not the turn I was expecting this to take at all. Oh God, no! What have I done? This just reminded me of an interview that I was reading where the writer of the game, Dan Pinchbeck, was saying that uh, there was a there was a, a cut scene in the game, not a cut scene, but a cut scene of a pig fucking a corpse. 
that got removed because it looked too much in Pinchbeck's mind like the pig was raping somebody. And the whole thing conjured up this image of that infamous pyramid head mannequin scene in Silent Hill 2. Way more horrific version of the uh, ooh of the stealth sequence from the Pig Kingdom in Nino Kuni. Burner Street. Redeem yourselves. Redemption is at hand. Enter the cleansing and set your souls free. For you are born into filth and will die as pigs. Only through my redemption can you ascend to the skies and claim the heavens as your kingdom. Fall on your knees. Ashes, ashes, bones and ashes. The pile will reach critical and we can have such a burning that this city will shine as a beacon of redemption for the world. Sounds like the pigs are chopping up people just in the distance in this room. Or, I mean, in this house, wherever this is. I don't really recognize it. I stand and look at myself in the mirror, penis in hand, and, re and my reflection grins at me, and his mouth is full of the sulfur mustards. Vain fool, he sneers. Are you really so different? Do you genuinely believe your works of evil are any greater than the rest of them? You're simply a weak man, a product of his age, the same as any other. This is Empire, Cretan. This is the killing idiocy, the natural result of this social Darwinism. If you are evil, then this world is evil. You just let the blood run in the street rather than hiding it in the poorhouse. You hold the blade and slide it home yourself. You do not pay a man to do this for you where you cannot see it. If you are evil, at least yours is an honest evil, and that alone makes you an ubermensch. And thus I wash my hands and take to bed. That is... quite the perverse justification for all of this. So the machine... The, the purpose of the machine is seems like to churn the pigmen out to eventually attack London? Why? What possible motivation could Ozzy have for building this? I am very, very curious about all of this. Like, my mouth has been pretty much agape for the past 25 minutes. The pigmen wandering the streets don't seem to notice me or be hostile. It seems like it's all... they're all on scripted paths, so... Really, I don't have that much to worry about. Luckily... Ooh, fuck! Doesn't stop them from startling me, though. to happen? I mean, I guess because it was a straight run. There are too many of these damnations, these beasts loose on the streets that all have come from the engine rooms. As I emerged, I counted three of the, dam of the damnable pneumatic lifts, which suggests the machine has been planning this for some time, smuggling routes to the surface all about this neighborhood. 
If my bearings are correct, beyond the alley I should stand directly over the ignition rooms, and I will wager that if I find a pneumatic there, it will carry me back to the machine's heart. Come on, Ozzy, just be done with this. You don't want to go back to the machine's heart. Not now. Creature! Where are my children? Where are my children? Also, the line that the machine was speaking gives us our title. This world is a machine, a machine for pigs, fit only for the slaughtering of pigs. Pigs. Oops. Oh, great. Back down we go. Arming the world. Let us not be coy. I will not let us drag this corpse of civilization into a new century. Come New Year's Eve, I will fling the last switches and unshackle the full power of the machine. I stumbled upon a post on the Steam forums about the Precious Eagle Cactus Fruit from that phone call we got uh, really early in the game. I think it was the very first phone call. It has to do with an Aztec sacrificial ritual where the sacrificee would have his heart carved out and the remains would be cannibalized and the heart was held up to the sun so the sun could receive the heart's energy. And the sacrifices were referred to as eagle men, and the heart was referred to as a precious eagle cactus fruit. Oh, you know what? The kid's pulling their hearts out. That's what that referenced. I have returned, an angel of vengeance, a saboteur once more. I will find a way to stop this vast enterprise of slaughter. Enough destruction opened the heart before, confused the machine enough to spring its locks and secret doorways. I must cause it great shock, stab its eyes, poke hot wire into its ears, hammer to its teeth and push glass into every orifice. Then it will gasp, and in that gasp I will scuttle into, th into the throat and stab its heart from inside. What does this one say? Stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him, stop him. Stop him. him. Yeah, this is... Stop him. This, that's talking about Ozzy, alright. Ozzy talking about Ozzy? I'm still a little unclear about that, because the machine, the engineer, whoever this is, seems to be taking on a life of his own, and it appears to also be Ozzy? Like, there's that kind of duality going on here, and I'm not entirely sure how to digest that. Fuck, what do the Aztecs and Ritual Sacrifice have to do with everything? I believe, like Ozzy said, this should be the ignition room. That one's stuck, so... Go backwards to the door prior. What do we do with you? Andis Processing Company. Oh, so this was originally a meat processing plant to begin with. So two routes I can go. Boy, do I not like this. Will they be free? Yes, my friend. Drained and bled and freed from the prison of the flesh. Free to ascend as smoke to the stars. And the good. The word. How will we save them? Show me these worthy Mandus. Show me the Good. I do not see them. So the world is bad. It needs to be cleansed in holy fire to purge it of its sins. That kind of story is what we have. On that note, I am going to end the episode here. Next episode, it looks like we're getting close to the end game. I hope I don't have like five minutes left because the next episode will be five minutes long. Um, I'm gonna, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one.